Welcome to Beetle Fan Number no. Nine Vinyl Update, June twenty fourth to July twentieth. Update. I mean August. Starring Jim Morrison and the Doors, Stevie Wonder, Elvis Costello, and some stylish mystery vinyls. This will be a jam-packed episode, so get ready. Or Okay, so do you like that intro? Because no one's commenting if just tell me when I'm at skill to marvel or whenever you see this, just tell me if you like the new intro. I'll do it for every update. Especially next week of record so day. Okay, we start with the doors and look at that one C and I of the Illuminati. Yeah, but Florida doesn't count. So this is a 1974 psychedelic acid a blues rock album starring Jim Morrison. The doors is well it has light my fire. It's different from what I was expected. I was expecting some trippy kind of album. I was kind of really shooting some of love. I don't really hear that. I don't blame them. It was released before Sgt. Pepper and Are You Experienced? So I don't blame them. But yeah. So you open it and. And. Kind of have this thing. I don't know why that's here. The Elytra thing. But then you have the actual one. So. Would I recommend this album? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But yeah, if you want. I like if you want some sort of quiet bluesy rock kind of thing with some psychedelic and acid in there. I would recommend The Doors. Now to an artist who in a few weeks just became my favourite. So in like a month has just become one of my favourite artists. Like with The Beatles and Pink Floyd it was the same but oh my god. Like The Beatles and Pink Floyd. Okay. Okay. Okay because of that I won't. It's Stevie Wonder, and I don't just have an invention, I have two! <laughs> yes, you would expect if I got in, like, Pink Floyd and the Beatles, well, the Beatles were at the time where I really wanted to be into one artist, but this and Pink Floyd, well, uh, I wait, it was until April, where, uh, I mean May, when I got two other ones, in a few weeks, come on, and technically this was in one of those ones, Gap. It wasn't like, like, I got Flaming Pie after some cancellation things, but I'm waiting that for my birthday to do the cost of it. If it was a normal one, like, if it was a normal price, I would have it, but I got the collector's edition. Have you seen it? That's quite expensive, but it is going to be rare. It's only, like, it's, it's limited to, like, 1,500 copies, so. Who knows, that could be my retirement mortgage when I, if I sell that. But yeah, so you have... Inventions. I got this as a two for thirty deal with the doors. There's now a better twenty five deal. Ugh. But there's more in the thirty deal. So yeah, these good creations. It's kind of a funky sort. I recommend to anyone. And if you want, yeah, just want to show that again. Um. So yeah, recommend this to anyone, especially if you like, kind of. Six, uh, it, 70s Roman and Blue Soul and Funk. Definitely recommend this. Yeah. And I also feel like Motown. Just get this. And if you just want an album and you don't know what to get, just get this one. If you just don't want it. And then, again, we're after playing Pie. Songs of the Key of Life. And this is a beast. So it's a double album. But not just that. It has a something extra. Which is, so you have record one and you have record two with a clip, which surprisingly you would only find like compilations or best of things. I'll put it in here, of course, because it comes after. You get. You have a bonus EP, and that was surprising. So, yeah, he only listened to this one. I think that was actually a song that was the same somewhere. like that I think so I can't 
I don't know. So this was during HMV Vinyl Week. Now I didn't get any of the originals. Didn't get my son's blue vinyl. Um, but all that kind of day of blue. I should have got that. But they have also for old ones decreased price, and this was forty-four pounds. So this would probably have been a special day, not record store day, but it was twenty-three pounds. So I picked that up. But again, uh, for some reason, I also got oh Elvis. Costello, his year's model. I mean, Elvis Costello, this year's model. Yeah, they're doing it in this weird way. But also, yeah, not Presley. You, for the people watching me who are not into music, you're surprised there's more than one person who's called Elvis, especially someone who's a famous musician. Okay. Yeah. Both of these and that one is a back to black vinyl, so I I already put the codes in. I don't know where they are now, but I put those codes in. So yeah. And this one is a punk album. I'm not the biggest fan of punk now, even though another one in this box is a punk album, but it's okay. Yeah. Yes. So it seems to be you know, weird. It's okay. So you have this weird inner sleeve. Ah, now the special occasion. Stylus! Yes! And um, we now know I was expecting this to come last week. But I'm glad because I won't get any advance this week. It's weird. I'm missing out every week for some reason. But well, I guess my console day is coming up, so don't blame me. But, oh, I didn't notice that. That looks like some sort of Egypt thing. I just pulled it up so you didn't know where I lived, but that's cool. That's cool. Actually, I'll take a picture after this. And I'll take, I'll take it somewhere. It just seems cool with in this one. But then, well, let's see what's inside. And, um, yeah, it's quite a lot. So... This was probably bought by Music Max, so this was the lady who thing with the supplier. So let's see what's inside, and firstly it's Iggy Pop, Lust for Life. I haven't opened these, and I probably won't, but so this is again back in black, so I'll probably download the code later today. And, um, yeah, so Iggy Pop, I was predicting this until I saw Tom Petty but yeah and I was surprised I got one right and um, yeah he is a punk musician that was the punk one and yeah so basically he he was friends with Dave Bowie he was in the studio and he was friends with Dave Bowie especially during the science we have some things like Hero this came about this hang on a minute <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed. I have tied an album, so I might like this if they were produced by the same time. Was it just the idiot? No, this was this as well. So, yeah, I have heard there would be different issues out and the idiot in the Bowie set, but that's only on CD. I'm getting on. I'm buying something, so yeah. Then we got Booker's and the MG's Melting Pot. I I actually recognise, I've seen this on before I saw this, but I never noticed it, so this is like an RB so, sign on a hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, so it's so like I got I got a punk out and then an army sort of and then um, when I got Cyrus, I got the exact same thing. Oh my god, so yeah. I don't have a lot to mention on this one. It's not a back to black, so I don't have a cold or you know, I might be. It just that's the only one that works probably. And then um, a beans on toes or something. Cool, that's cool. Oh, I need to get that. There's a real. No, I'm getting a little, of course. And then you have, you know, the music, which I don't, I don't have masses of time. Okay, but it eh, probably is a mistake, but I don't have masses of time. I have lots of light. Yeah. Okay, so welcome. Bye-bye. So, free.